All right, I'm back. <laughs> Map, Super Apartment Friends, Kaiju Lai, Plan, Godzilla, Monster of Monsters. Ted hooked me up with that cheat code. And I'm drinking Prosecco. It's a good night, baby. I don't have to work tomorrow. Will I fight the enemy? Of course I will. Fuck. Will I fight Gizora? Is he the enemy? Then yes. Who else am I fight? Blobviously. This looks like hell, BT dubs. Look how the... The that mountain range in the background is glowing. So, like, good for Mothra. For being gangster enough to just roll with this like it's nothing. She's pretty zen about shit, so... If anybody would be up for it, it would be her. I don't know if you guys are still up for yakking about superhero stuff. But I am super curious about the Infinity War trailer that they that they showed at Comic-Con, but it's like super under wraps. I'm I'm jazzed about that. I do I do really like the Marvel stuff. I know that is not everybody's cup of tea, but I've I've really been digging it. I think a big part of it is the the fact that they fully embrace comedy with it because um a lot of a lot of a lot of my favorite comedians are also comic book fans and a a great example is that brian posein and scott ackerman have both written deadpool comic books and they're really good and i think i think marvel gets that about comedy hey baby Too loud? Cool. I'm doing pretty bad. I'm doing pretty bad. As I do. Bye, baby. Secret cameo from Jess. And, and Hobbs running around confused. Oh no, Google Drive, get out of my face! Mothra's red orbs are yellow now. I do desperately want to fight Hedora. Okay. Oh my god, shut up. What is it doing? Keep going. There we go. Logan was terrific. I th and, and I think you're absolutely right. Logan uh, it has 100% crossover appeal. You don't have to be into superhero movies. to. It's just a good movie. <sighs> oh, Ted, you like Batman vs. Superman? I should give it a chance. It's one of those... I, I saw the trailers and stuff and just kind of wrote it off. Which is... You know, which is shitty. <laughs> Hang on. Ricky, Ted and I are talking about superheroes, and then you busted out this drug stuff. You maniac. You fucking lunatic. No, I won't fight the enemy. This, uh, this hexagon system is really interesting to me. There we go. It reminds me of, like, uh... Not not so much D and D, but more like a, a miniature, like war games and stuff, like like Warhammer 40k and all that all that wild stuff. Or shit, or HeroScape. I don't know if I don't know if either of you guys ever played HeroScape, but I was really excited because my 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 dungeon master, which isn't a sex thing, it's a D and D thing. Swear to God. Um, I, uh, he, he name dropped HeroScape the other day, and I didn't realize anybody besides me and my former brother-in-law played that. Cause that was a, that was a cool one. That, that was, it was not as, as crazy in depth as like Warhammer. It was kind of a nice middle ground between like just risk 
and and things like Warhammer. I'm sure there's other examples. I, I don't want to say Warhammer 75 more times, but I don't know of other examples of that genre of game. All right. Hey, man. You know, Man of Steel looked better to me than uh, Batman vs. Superman. I will definitely say that. Oh, Hedora, baby. No, no, no. I want to fight Hedora. Yes, I'll fight Hedora. Fuck yeah. I fucking love Hedora. Oh, and it's even like a gross doo-doo place. Oh my god. There's so many UFOs. UFO, no. Oh, wow. Okay. There's some really cool sprite work happening here. And I'm loving these... Uh, these classic Planet X UFOs. That's that's pretty hot. It's so cool to see... Because, you know, video games and, and NES games in general are such an 80s and early 90s platform. So it's really cool to see... 60s and 70s style sci-fi interpreted through sprite art and chip tunes. You don't see that too much. Ooh, this is different. There's these to these towers I can't like pass through until I blow them up. Oh fuck. Fucking fuck. There we go. There we go. Drop them. Those big ass Gatling guns on that tower. That's bad news. I'm getting my ass kicked. Irma oh Gerd. There we go. Fuck ya. Fuck ya. Oh my god, Hedora, you look beautiful. That is some good ass Hedora. Big vertical eyes, bright green. I dig it. Tons of smog. Oh, this is... I don't think I will defeat Hedora. That smog is savage. I'm gonna check in with you guys. God, oh my god. Everybody keeps making the... The Batman vs. Superman... Godzilla vs. Kong jokes. It's an alien city ruin. That's cool. Uh, I don't know why I'm <laughs> ignoring the life refills. I think because I didn't know they were life refills. That makes sense, though. The little red capsule-looking things. I'm not. I'm not super familiar with this game. I tonight is the most time I've spent with it ever. So it's not just to be obnoxious. It's it's mostly out of true ignorance. What the fuck? I can't even hit him. He's got so much smog. Oh, I've done no damage to him. That sucks. Wow. He's bad news. Shit. It's man, it's tough. Some of the some of these guns and things just look like background elements. Like some of the stuff just looks like a pipe. But it's killing me. I don't... I don't know if... Uh, if it's just not animating like the beams and bullets in time. Or what. <laughs> oh, really? Rikio playing as Mothra is like playing as Batra on the PS4 game? That's insane. Oh, you had it for Christmas. Yeah, see, I never had I never had this game growing up. Yes, everything does attack you in this game. That's that's what I'm learning. And any 
If if anything could possibly emit a bullet or beam, it is <laughs> emitting a bullet or beam. I'm still I'm still like wrapping my head around that. Mostly Gizora, you fucking traitor! I love you. I need a, I really just need a video game where you just become friends with all the monsters. The closest we get to that is Pokemon. And those are little tiny monsters. It's not the same. I'm just trapped, man. I only got two moves. Did I get him? No. No. Ooh, do I get to fight Varen? I want to see Varen. Look at this place! Just regular ass human tanks on this weird planet. Oh my god, this green fucker! Good grief. Just, yeah, I need to just shoot every single thing before I move on. ABS, always be shooting. Sometimes you just take damage and you don't know why. Just like real life. Yeah, I, you know what? I I, uh, I do have a tendency to just like rush through shit. And maybe this is a more procedural game. Where you need to kill everything before moving on. Doy. Look at this little face down here. And this big face up here. You guys are weird. There we go. Okay. Let's dial it back. Let's dial it back. We don't need to be so aggro. Just kill all this shit. Get the power-ups. Look at that flying spaghetti monster up here. <laughs> Big aloe vera plants that are shooting shit at me. Ooh, and whatever that was. Yuck. Some nasty ass HP Lovecraft thing. Blah 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 blah. See what I don't get is when certain sometimes <sighs> sometimes my projectiles impact and sometimes they don't. There we go. Okay. Okay. I think I just got confused by a true background element. Because some, there's a couple things that really aren't attacking you. It's not many, but it's a couple. And you know, can you blame them? If a, if a whole fucking Mothra is coming at you, you would probably just tell everybody to try and kill it. Blip, 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 blip. Oh yeah, give me that. Love that poison powder, baby. I kind of wish, uh, kind of wish you could play as as uh, Larva Mothra. Though that I, I on my on my rewatch of the original Mothra, I kind of noticed that's that's really the only situation where Larva Mothra shines, because it well in, in Destroyal Monsters, those those are the two situations where they're like, oh, it's a fucking freight train. It is a sentient gigantic freight train that's just decided to hop off the rails. Here we go. Ooh, purple ass Varen. <laughs> Mothra attacks herself. Space station is attacking you. Ah, uh, okay. I was gonna say, yeah, some of the stuff I, I just I literally can't hit. Which on the final world that makes sense. You wanna wrap you wanna ramp up the uh, the challenge there? How am I not hitting him? There we go. Do you have to? Hit, it looks like you have to hit his torso. There we go. I swear I'm not jerking it. I'm just tapping the button really fast. Yeah, fuck you, Varen. You're a C-list monster, you dick! I like Varen, okay. I know that C-list remark was a little harsh. Yeah, Larva Mothra's the shit.
I that that finale is so good. The two the two larvas on the island just 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 bullying the shit out of Godzilla. It's so funny. I I'm I'm so okay with Mothra defeating Godzilla. It just it just feels right, man. He's a rage monster, so a, so like a totally zen asshole, so it should be killing him. Not killing him, but defeating him. People get mad about that. They, they, they get mad about Mothra beating Godzilla, and they get mad about King Kong beating Godzilla. And it's like, hey man, that, that's how it went down. Like, there's nothing you can do about it. I think King Kong deserves it. He's, he's the OG, man. That's like, that's a total, that's a total just honor thing. You don't, you don't get King, you don't get Godzilla without King Kong. So hell yeah, they need to, they need to pay their dues. I, I, I've always, I've always been okay with that. And it's like a surprising underdog win. The, uh, the underdog wins in fiction. Varen, Varen, I can kind of handle. Need a turbo controller for the first time in my life. I've never needed that until right now. Come on, yeah, fuck yeah. Oh shit. Oh, Barragon right off the gate. <laughs> yeah, the Larvas are gangsters, man. Godzilla, yeah. Uh, Mothra vs. Godzilla is is the beginning of his hero arc. Because he, he, just, he just woke up and he's hungry. Like, he, he's not evil. He's just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Super I wouldn't have had a movie. Yeah. Yeah, Super I is very like traditional values. Though it's funny, I'm I'm wrapping up the review for this month and it's I'm I'm do, just doing a block of Ultraman episodes. And we've talked we've talked before about how Super I was like, no blood, no blood. I, I don't want to do that. And I'm watching Cry of the Mummy, and they shoot Dodongo's fucking eyes out, and they're just these big, meaty, gore sores that just weep down his face. And I'm like, Super I, did, were, you, were you there for that one? Like, you're not, you don't want blood, but I see more blood on Ultraman than any other, any other kaiju thing. Yeah, Moth Mothra vs. Godzilla, I always I always felt like Godzilla was kind of hung over in that one. Like uh, he he he's still recuperating from his King Kong fight, maybe. And and I always I, just, you know, it's not canon, of course, but I always thought that was kind of a fun explanation for why he's so like, ah, oh, fuck, <laughs> dude, it's just a dude trying to get brunch, <laughs> and everybody's giving him shit about it. That's that's a good point, Ted, and that's the thing I don't know the ins, the ins and outs of it, but that could totally be the case because I think I so I know some of the episodes were directed by his son. I know like because one of the episodes I'm doing this month is Oil SOS, and I'm pretty sure uh, and you know my sources you know my sources are Wikipedia and IMDb, which are not reliable, but that's like what I have and. Uh, I know those those sources were saying that he, I think I think if I remember right, his son directed Oil SOS, which of course is not Cry of the Mummy, but it kind of gives you a glimpse that he because he was dude was fucking working himself to death in the the mid to late sixties. <laughs> yeah, Pistar is so weird. I love how weird. I, I love just a gonzo creature like that. 
but it doesn't it doesn't fully work right it's you can tell it's you can you can tell it's two guys with a with a hand puppet in the middle but i love uh i love the idea of it and that goes that goes a long way for me the, the concept goes a long way oh yeah paragon Mothra's tearing shit up now. Or was for 10 seconds. <laughs> and now is getting destroyed. <laughs> Never mind. There we go. Oh my god. Baragon, cool your jets, you fuck. Ooh, Baragon's a tricky customer. Need to use my air superiority. Bear -a boy. I'm not trying to let the beams hit me. I'm just not fast enough. It is like the opposite of GMK. Ooh. Yeah, I'll fight the enemy. We're up in the home stretch here, aren't we? This is another this is another situation like the last Godzilla game. Suck a dick. Look at all that poison, son. Oh, shit. Shit, come out. Ooh, guy again? Oh, nope, nope, not yet. <laughs> Soon. The fucking <laughs> shut up, Riccio. Shut up. <laughs> oh my god, he has so much health. This feels like Mario Party. Just tapping the shit out of these buttons. Hoping to win. <laughs> Come on. Give me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. You're dead. You're dead. You piece of. Oh, shit. I spoke too soon. No. Uh oh. What does that mean? No, you can't do that. I was winning that fight, you dick. You piece of shit. I almost had him. Classic Hedora bullshit. That is the theme for tonight, is that Hedora is a fucking asshole. I can't even hit him, man. He's got so much smog. It just passes through him. Okay, we gotta hit his... You gotta hit his torso boy I'm, I'm over here with my golden eye knowledge being like oh headshots only no torso shots go for the core come here come here fuck 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 oh my god oh my arm's tired my arm's tired ooh thanks password Ghidra is going to be a nightmare. As he should be, right? I'm, man, I'm psyched about Legendary Ghidra. Ghidra's not one of them. <laughs> Ooh, get under his pellets. Okay, that makes that makes a ton of sense. That just makes sense. Okay. Well, but hopefully I won't have to. Hope I can just smoke Baragon real quick. Like a chump, hey, like a chump. No, I won't fight Hedora. Are you crazy? Why would I fight Hedora? He's Hedorable. Baragon can rip up. Hey, Baragon, 
Why don't you be 50 different Ultraman monsters real quick, you putz? What is he doing? Shit. Yes! Man, tonight is a night of victories! But like, crappy, dumb victories from that. Oh shit! Why did they just start me into a fight? <laughs> Doesn't this game know I love booze? Good grief. He did do the little mock animation. That was awesome. Oh. He is a synapsid, isn't he? Like, uh, like Dimetrodon. Oh my god, Mechagodzilla is not gonna be playing around. Man, I would kill, I would fucking kill for a Destroy All Monsters style movie that included Mechagodzilla and King Kong. We could have had it. I mean, granted, their Toho's King Kong license only lasted until, what, 67 or 68? But that would have been sick. Even if it's not Mechagodzilla, Mechani Kong or uh, or Magura would have been good too. I just want a robot. I want a robot in one of those movies. One of those big Monster Mash movies. I think it would be super fun. Shit. I guess let's uh, let's grab Godzilla, right? Oh my god, he's so far away. Oh, he's not here. Never mind. <laughs> he took the day off, I guess. That's fine. What? No, I don't want to fight Hidora. Oh my god. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to get up in his grill. It's not going to go so well. He's got long reach and pellets. It's bad. I've done hardly any damage to this dick. Here we go. I'll just... Okay. Make the... Okay. Yeah, we can do this. We can do this. Oh, he's headbanging for a long time. What an idiot. Nobody cares how much you like Queen Hedora. It's going to make you lose the fight, you dummy. Just kidding. He whipped my ass to death. Godzilla died. Gotcha. Shoot his feet. Oh, good to know. Get eye level with Mechagodzilla. Ooh, that makes sense. <laughs> Flora fauna. Hey, all the, like all the monsters are like plant creatures, which is weird. And I'm glad they didn't talk about it, but it's a fun. It's like a fun Easter egg. Okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. We're going to do it. So, no, I'm not going to fight Hedora. Why would I go backwards? Come on, game. Get a life. Oh, my God. <laughs> my God, this is bad news. Ted, you and I both wrote long Kaiju Lai posts about what an asshole Mechagodzilla is. He's the man. He's bad news, though. Oh, he's got such a long health bar. Oh, that sucks. That's okay. Oh, that's okay, because my wings don't take damage. That's amazing. I Games like this, I don't feel bad about exploiting a... Uh, it's not even a bug. It's just like a weird quirk of the programming. And when a game is super hard like this, I don't feel bad about it. That's like uh, defeating death. In Castlevania there's a really cheap way to do it and I tried doing it the not cheap way a lot and it just doesn't it's not gonna happen <laughs> you got to do it the bullshit way so you know when you make a game stupid hard I don't really feel guilty about finding a, a crappy way to win There we go. 
go. I gotta get a. I gotta hit that sweet spot near his eyes. There we go. Oh shit. I think I have it, and then I don't. Because he do. He does straight ahead shots, and then he does like a 45 degree angle down. And you gotta hit that. You gotta hit that magic zone right between those. I think I got it right now, though. Ooh, shit. Ooh, I haven't seen Gigan yet. Oh, Mechagodzilla is still, still, uh, still bringing it. Hell yeah, I'll fight Mechagodzilla. Come on. I saw Tokyo SOS. I know Mothra can get this in the bag. Can I hit the start button? Yes. I don't know if the, any of that will hit him, but just in case. If you guys are chatting right now, I can't look. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Now I can. Assuming they don't throw a monster at me right away. Ah, yeah, I'm violent. Oh my god, they did throw a monster at me. Fuck you. Let me pause. God. Oh. MG and Gator are the most powerful monsters in the game. That makes sense. In Castlevania 2, you just walk under them. Damn. I guess I need to play Castlevania 2. I'm playing... I only played Castlevania 1, 4, a.k.a. Super, Symphony of the Night, which I actually beat, and then... Uh, the DS one portrait of sorrow. And I didn't beat that one. Symphony of the night is incredible though. I would say cause it's 1998, same year as Ocarina of time, 1998, pretty good year for video games. If only because Ocarina of time and symphony of the night are the same year. Metal gear solid sometime around there. And while I'm not a big Metal Gear Solid fan, I know a lot of people are. Gigan, I love you to death. I gotta kill you. Sorry. Oh my god. They made his buzzsaw tummy so much more intense. Ooh, I think I, I, think I found a sweet spot. Oh, shit. Nope. Spoke too soon. There we go. Yeah, if you can hit him in the neck. There we go. Look how long that health bar is. Damn. That's okay. I feel like Mothra is the secret weapon in this game. She's kind of tearing shit up. Dude, because, yeah, then Gigan and then Ghidorah. We're in the home stretch, baby. We got this shit. All right, I can smoke them. We got this. Oh, I gotta go through a level? Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> There's so much just shit everywhere. I can't, I cannot even keep up with it. All right, there we go. Yeah, man, God, maybe Godzilla has more moves and stuff, but he's also got a bigger body mass to hit. I'm just looking at the health bar now. Oh yeah, here we go. It's Dunzo. Yeah, Dunzo. We got gotcha. you. Ooh, ooh. Oh, <laughs> I'm just being incredibly lucky. And then Ricky was like, "Oh, just, just let him feel smart." <laughs> well, hey man, I'll take, I'll take luck, man. I'll take it. Hedora's going to be a big pain in the ass, I think. C 
see, because whatever these bullets are that she shoots out of her face, they don't have super long range. Nor are they particularly powerful. <laughs> That's okay. I will fight the enemy. I will fight Ghidorah. That's the kind of night it is. Light and shit. Oh my god! That's awesome. This is awesome. Dude, I'm feeling good about this. I'm man, there's not like a standalone Mothra game, so I'm uh, I'm actually pretty psyched that that I hit it up with Homegirl. Oh my god. There's no way this is going to work out, right? Shit. Shit. Come on, man. You just trap me in a corner. At least they got it sounds right. The bing -a ling a ling a ling noise. Fuck. Oh man. Can we do it? Ghidorah Adoria. Yeah, he's the best. Oh, I definitely didn't destroy Goten. I just kind of fucked it up a tiny bit and was like, this is good. okay that's okay i'm feeling pretty good about this yeah feeling pretty good about sucking at this game Ghidorah with no h at the end drop the h i can tap a button real good mm, until that happens fuck no 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 Break out of it. Break out of it. Damn. Ooh, that doesn't look good. That looks bad. That's a game over. I accept. It is 3.25 in the morning. I accept. Sick jam. You can, Do you have the... Oh, I could have gone back. That's true, because that, I have the hexagon map. But... I think I'm gonna call it a night. Ted, Riccio, thanks for sticking it out. Uh, this was an awesome night. <laughs> uh, this was a big night. Uh, so thanks for sticking around. You know I'm Matt. I don't know if there's anybody else watching. It doesn't tell me who's here. I'm Matt, this is Super Apartment Friends. I'm gonna be back tomorrow at two. No, at three. Maybe at two. Uh, keep an eye on the uh, the Twitter and the Facebook. Super Apartment Friends. Um, if I do decide to start before three, I'll, I'll hit it up. I'm going to do some Rampage. I want to see how far I can get tomorrow on Rampage. And uh, yeah, man, loving this Kaiju Lai stuff. It's been a blast talking with you guys. Thank you for staying up with me on a Thursday. That's wild. Turned out to be a thirsty Thursday uh yeah man it's been it's been great but i think i'm, I'm gonna crash out i'm not ignoring the fan base riccio 
<laughs> Ricky always stabbing me through the heart. A slave over a hot computer all night to entertain you. And what do you do? <laughs> Ted, you're the best. Uh, you, you have so much, like, incredible info. Uh, it's it's always great talking with both of you guys. Um, so thanks for sticking out. We got we got a bunch more Kaiju Life stuff left uh, tomorrow and Monday. So, like, it's... The, the, the biggest shit is still coming. So I'm psyched about that. It's been a fun month. Uh, yeah, boy. Thanks for staying up, guys. I feel like it was like quite an adventure, right? Um, <laughs> thank you guys for sticking with me. It's really cool. Um, but yeah, I'll cut you loose because it's a billion o'clock. Um, so yeah, if you can catch me tomorrow, do it. If not, Get some fucking sleep, you nut jobs. Oh my god. Um, I'm gonna peace out and get some sleep myself. Uh, game over, baby. Yeah. I don't think I have anything else to say. I like talking, though. So, <laughs> I mean, technically, I have more things to say. But, uh, yeah, man, I'll catch you on the next one. You guys are the shit. I love you forever.